Good, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to welcome to today's stand up. Uh, before we start, uh, maybe see the agenda, in the schedule. So today we have presentation of the week eleven, and of course CBS. Then you have tutorial, introduction to the challenge and independent challenge work. And yeah, that will be it today. So uh, I think uh, we hand on the mic back to you. And yeah, so I think we can go on. Yeah, yeah, maybe you can take over and read it. Thank you. I will come back for announcements. OK, good morning, Emilian, and good morning. I'm Lodi. Can you guys hear my voice? Okay. okay. So yeah, welcome to the last week. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Which is the twelve uh, the twelve week. So we're going to have a presentation about uh, what you've done uh, on the previous week. So maybe we wanna go. We wanna go first. There is Abraham, Yaya, and Junior. I mean, sorry, Abraham, Junior, and Dada. <laughs> No, Kiabra, you can go first. Thank you, Radit. Good afternoon, everyone. You can hear me, right? Yes, good afternoon, Abraham. We can hear you. Okay, good. Uh, actually, for uh, for uh, for this uh, presentation, I didn't uh, do do much. Uh, I just want to 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 present my my progress uh, so far. What I have I have been able to do since I didn't get uh, enough uh, enough time. I was not able to uh, to progress much. So I yes, uh, as it was suggested by. Uh, not nail also uh, on the challenge documents i managed to uh, to start uh, writing my my report on uh, on medium which is uh, a, a very nice platform uh, as you see here i didn't uh, write much i just uh, write some introduction about the project and the, the project uh, objective which is to make uh, different uh, product uh, uh, Walmart product category prediction uh, for uh, uh, different uh, ca category uh, of Walmart products. So we are expected to make uh, monthly and yearly sales prediction and the performance will be evaluated using uh, uh, root mean square error on the test uh, data set. So I try to uh, revise some of the, the already submitted uh, uh, documents, uh, notebooks uh, on the Kagan. Uh, here are, here are uh, some of them. So I, I managed to do th this. Let me... Let me share my my code. So uh, I spend most of uh, the time uh, doing uh, data uh, pre-processing. Uh, those uh, that that has took uh, took me a lot of time, especially merging uh, different uh, data sets uh, to to provide the 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 last the final uh, training uh, uh, column uh, so i was i was doing uh, that let me share
Okay, so uh, I was uh, there were uh, four uh, four given data sets uh, on the on the Kage. There is a, a microeconomic data set uh, and uh, a data set about holidays and events and uh, about weather. And also there is a training uh, data set. So uh, I try to process this uh, data sets. I try to handle missing values. Uh, I want to. Uh, I take, uh, uh, for example, in uh, in the macroeconomic data set, there is a, a party in power column. I I drop that since uh, this column only has one one value. So uh, I I did some uh, some of uh, the basic pre-processing like this and. Uh, I merged the uh, data on uh, men's and uh, year. Then after that, I try to uh, uh, to prepare the training data, and I use uh, minmax scalar and uh, label encoder to to convert them into numerical. And I, uh, since I don't uh, have enough time for this big challenge, I use only the linear regression. Uh, and I try to build three different uh, models. Uh, since uh, the model, the data only ha uh, has three different product category, I build three different models to make uh, three different prediction uh, for each uh, product product uh, category so this is for women closing and this is for men closing and this is for other other men closing i try to to train uh, to train them uh, like this and uh, i try to uh, to um, to generate the final submission uh, required by the the, the target but uh, when i i, ge I generated this uh, final submission uh, uh, csv but when i uploaded it on the calculator uh, it uh, it says it uh, it should be at least uh, 36 uh, column i mean uh, rows entries uh, uh, my data actually it's more than uh, uh, 36 but uh, it's giving me that uh, that uh, that error uh, so th this is my 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 progress so far thank you if you have a question you can ask okay uh, yeah okay thank you abraham first and i Okay, maybe he had also had raised this hand. Was that an opinion in advance or is that that you want to have, you want to make the presentation? No, I want to make the presentation because I am very badly. I am using my phone and my battery is running up. Oh, okay. So maybe we will let's keep uh, the the comments and the questions for Abraham and let's hear the other presentation and we'll be back to Abraham's uh, for, for commenting Abraham's presentation. You can go on the other side. Uh, yeah, thank you. I did the challenge. I uh, the, uh, I. Took one where they not from the Kagil and they I managed to change the uh, for myself. Uh, so the first thing I did was actually I have modified some some codes, but I took the whole code uh, and the the process also from the uh, Kagil. Then I. <clears throat> First, I have loaded the data, then I managed to change the data to the SCV type. Actually, I can process it from uh, Excel, but I have changed it to the uh, CSV. And then 
I I I separate them in a product category: women, men, uh, and the other. Then I have extracted the death features. I mean, uh, then I I loaded the sub supporting the data. So Sorry. Can you hear me? If maybe if there is anything that you can share, maybe your reports or some form of presentation. Yeah, uh, I can't now because I am using my phone and they, I am running out. That that's I I have published on uh, okay. Medium, but I can't share now. Okay. Sorry. Okay. You can go. Okay. Thank you. So I I have loaded the supplementary data, micro data, uh, the event and holidays, and the one the other. Then I uh, I have imported the, uh, the the categorical data, numerics. Then I I have processed the for the three categories different. I mean differently. I so yeah, that's a bit of breaking into you. Sorry. I'm not hearing now. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I have the lunar hybrid of and also so I have I, I did the one I I have managed to merge the results of so then I have some. Thank you. Thank you, Adasa. I'm not sure if it is from my side, but I was having a hard time to hear your voice. Was that from my side? Uh, same here. Maybe I'm also outside. Uh, okay. no, I think it's on his side. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's get back from let's start from Abraham's presentation and let's if you have any question and comment in my side, I was about to ask. Uh, yeah, and you thank you. Yeah, that's if we have any comments, we're going to get back to you too. Uh, maybe can you describe Abraham? Can you describe the data that you've mentioned on that on the final part of your presentation? You said it was not uh, Kagil was not able to accept my suggestion. Yes, yes. Let me. Uh... This these are the submissions I have tried. Look here, it says uh, thirty-six. The submission must have uh, thirty-six uh, rows, but mine uh, has, I think, more than thirty-six uh, rows. Uh, there were different. Uh, okay, actually, this one is the same. Yeah. I have fixed uh, this one. This was a little bit different uh, error. I have fixed this one, but for the uh, recent three, three, three submissions, I am still getting uh, this, uh, this uh, error. Uh, or the matrix before submitting the assignment. You can, we've seen that there are some matrix that are expected. Actually, not matrix, but like submission format. So, uh, having 36 row was part of that submission format. Uh, I, I, I think so. I'm not sure. I, uh, I, I have, I have done this late uh, yesterday night. I don't try uh, try it uh, uh, different uh, way. Maybe f today I will try to you know keep the the rows 
like this it's 36 and i'll i'll try that i'll try to send it again and see if it is working but the columns in uh, anything uh, are i think uh, right yeah, I think we can see that on the overview part. This, uh, specifically for this challenge, you can see the overview part and what type of uh, submission or output are they expecting. Maybe we can check that. The submission format they, ex uh, they expect. Are you, are you asking, asking me that? Yes. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. 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 So how, for, yes. for how many years did you uh, try the prediction? Yeah. How many years? Uh, for, 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 uh, yes, uh, there, is, uh, there is a noise uh, in the background. You can hear me, right? Yeah, I did. I could. I can. I can. But uh, is, uh, since it's asking for 36 goals, yeah. I, I believe yes. the prediction was for three years, maybe. Three years for each year, there's 12 months, so 36 months. So is it specifically mentioned that you have, you have to do it for four years? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's specifically uh, yeah. specified uh, in the challenge. But you're right. 36 yeah. makes sense. It uh, it looks like uh, three years. Uh, it, prediction maybe i i will yeah, yeah. i will so, check that yeah so this is going to be your like real world application right so you should expect this kind of thing so you shouldn't expect that everything is going to be handed but rather that you have to do some research and look into the data and how you are going to handle it you, you have to come up with a strategy and so on um, that that way you can like identify these things. I believe uh, it was for three years. That's why it's asking for 36 walls. Uh, so make sure to do it and uh, submit if you can, if you have the time. OK, OK. Thank you, uh, Caleb. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, if you, another question, do you have anyone? Maybe I was about to ask if there is something, some improvement that you've made on that. You've told us that you have checked uh, already done some missions, right? Or solutions. So if there is any enhancement that you've tried to do or to increase, even if you were not able to do the submission part in the process, what new thing or what is the other thing that you want to improve the to decrease the you know yeah i i can't say i uh, i need some you know imp improvement uh, but i i i try to to process the the training data uh, efficiently as much as much as possible uh, so that it make uh, it makes sense for for uh, the model so that it will increase the the, the models performance i i have mainly working on the on the data pre-processing uh, part uh, handling the missing values uh, the merging and, and something uh, like that i i am uh, i'm not uh, doing a, anything uh, other than uh, that okay okay Abraham. thank you very much for the presentation maybe if there's the other person person that will go junior you're the only one remaining. So, hello, hello Julia. Okay, can you hear me, guys? Yeah, I think okay. it's. It's not very clear, I guess. Okay, uh, how about now? Can you hear me clearly now? Are you hearing his voice properly? Hello, guys. It's a bit low, but yeah, it's a bit low. That's okay. Uh, uh, how about now? Can you hear me? It's better. It's better. Okay. Uh, 
Hello guys, uh, nice, nice to meet you in this week. Uh, how was your weekend? So, okay, now I'm going to share my screen and proceed to the presentation. So, after that, you can ask some questions in the end. Okay. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Yes, the shift. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to give you the, the overall report. Then I will proceed to the insight on the other that I can send the period completion. So, in this project, uh, I participated in the Kegel competition by by choosing the customer channel protection for 2020 completion. So first, uh, I need to understand what the problem was. So the, the customer channel is a significant issue for business, particularly in a highly competitive market, likely in the telecommunication banking and e-commerce. So identifying customers who are likely to channel allow businesses to make a proactive measures to retain them. So Therefore, they can save some courses and improve some customer satisfaction. So when you come to the data set, the data set, the data, the, the data set provided for the presentation included by features, such as an account limit, number of voicemail messages, international plan, voicemail plans, and some of the more. So the goal was to predict the, the binary target value, the term, which is the US and the more. So indicating whether the customer would live or not. So after that, uh, I did some data processing in Java, which is the flat uh, EDA, by first cleaning the data, and by checking using values. Then I try to do some data encoding, uh, use frequency encoding for categorical variables like date, and had one half coding for the area code. I also use some uh, different kinds of uh, encoding methods to see which one is better. Uh, so after that, I did some normalization at light in max scale of the numerical features. So after that, uh, outlier detection. Uh, so outlier can be significant to skew the result of the machine learning model. So I use uh, the 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 code to identify and visualize some. Outlier features, uh, likely in the counting within the number of uh, those new messages. So, in, there are different kinds of algorithms that I tried in order to predict the, uh, the customer chart. So, the first one that I used was in, in my base. So the reason why I used uh, that I tried this algorithm is it's very simple and with for binary classification because our uh, problem statement, which is like the, the first problem uh, the problem of this classification. So, like for, the, for this problem, binary classification was, you know, uh, was you know, is advisable. But uh, there are uh, the performance was decent, but not competitive enough. So the next uh, model uh, algorithm that I used was decision decision classifier. Uh, Class five, class five. The reason why I use this is decision tree is uh, interpretable and can handle both numerical and categorical data uh, without any extensive pre processing. And the result was uh, uh, reasonable accuracy, but it's prone to other two things. Uh, random forest was a set the uh, algorithm that I tried, uh, which is the method that uh, mostly uses to reduce other fitting and the result was uh, showed a better performance compared to the other one. Uh, and then the next algorithm that I use was support to vector machines, which is a for to give high dimensional space and create complex uh, decision boundaries. The result was satisfactory, but the computational extends to large data sets. And then the next one is with uh, K universe neighbor. Which is simple and intuitive, making simple prediction based on a majority 
class of any neural network. Performed good, but struggle with large data set and imbalance classes. And then the gradient boosting classifier was used in this project, which is a uh, yield model sequentially, which uh, each model correcting errors for previous ones. The result was the best result due to its ability to handle complex pattern and uh, pattern in the data. So using this models, first I have to hyperparameter uh, hyper the some of the features, not to do uh, the prediction as accurate as possible. Um, this algorithm, in each algorithm, my performance uh, upper parameter using the group search CV to find the optimal parameter that maximizes the model performance. So after that, model evaluation is conducted by using tenfold cross validation to evaluate each model. This technique ensures that the uh, model performance is not dependent on a specific front based split and provides a better estimate, estimate of the model generalization capital. And uh, some of the results that I got from each model was this by QC of the QT. Is this and then the gradient is being emerged as the best model use an accuracy of 88.6%, which is good compared to the other. So the lesson that I learned from this project uh, was the importance of data processing, and uh, it is very important to submit a model which is suitable for uh, the problem. And then hyperparameter tuning is very significant in improving the model performance. And then finally, the cost validation, which is ensures the performance model is reliable or not, on a, which is reliable or not on the dependent on specific parameter case the split. So why could have been done differently, which is like uh, more feature engineering, and the link in balance data, advanced algorithm, and then some more exciting. Uh, so in conclusion, participating in the Pattern of trend prediction 2020 competition is highly education, educational experience. I explored various algorithms, learned different kinds of data processing, and realized the significance of type of parameter tuning, which, uh, which, is, which led me to come to the conclusion that the gradient system provided the best result. So, uh, the code that I used, okay, probably. Okay, first I used only one algorithm, which is the decision tree. Okay, let me show you the case. I submitted three or three results. The first one, as you can see, this one was a standard chain prediction using decision tree, and then I got the target score. 0.0066 and that's uh, the score 0.92. Uh, and then after that, I try to use some other parameter tuning by modifying the model. And then uh, the accuracy was uh, increased as you can see 9.2 and then 9.3. And then after that, I used different algorithms. And uh, also, I got the uh, 0.93 and then the public for 0.26. Um, but uh, I got some error. I don't know why. I try to know the leaderboard, like the rank. Um, but I was I was not able to see it because of the I think it's the expert. Um, but the software that I faced. But uh, from the submission, I got the accuracy. As you can see, this. So uh, let me show you some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. This code is. Uh, Okay, the petition using the multiple algorithms. I imported some libraries, imported the test in the train data. It is uh, the head of the train data, the test data. 
So for for encoding, uh, I use frequency encoding for the state, and then the, for the error code, I use one hundred encoding. Um, and then for labeling encoding for international and voice mean plan, I use labeling encoding. Then after uh, after that, normalizing normalization by using mean max scalar. Then model training and hyperparameter tuning. As you can see this, okay, in the hyperparameter, I used green, uh, grid uh, search CV. Then the decision tree classifier, okay, this is some of the parameters for tuning. And then this is for random class, uh, classifier, and then this is for gradient. Okay, this is for support rate motion. This is for KNN. So evaluation method. So for evaluation, k Meter was used. So this is some of the, the result that I got. Okay, this is the performance of different models. This one. Okay, for prediction. Then okay, this is the final result. The final result. So this is the overall project that I got from uh, from the KK competition. Uh, okay, uh, that's that's it for me. Yeah, question and Okay, Junior was really uh, a very nice and impressive presentation and a very nice work that you have done. I think you almost completed every task, but um, why were we not able to see the leaderboard? I haven't hear, heard the, the reason for what properly, maybe. Why did you think that uh, we were not able to see the leaderboard? Then you're late. I don't know. I tried to, uh, so many ways to fix it, but I think uh, it was expect. I tried to contact starting from the first emission that you were not able to uh, see your position, starting from the first emission mm -hmm. that you made? Uh, no, I, uh, I tried after the submission. Uh, there was uh, this. Uh, bar that that suggests to show you. It was so. It was what? Uh, there was this bar that will let you jump to your leaderboard, but uh, yeah. when I click it, it doesn't show anything. That's why I, I contacted Kero about this, and I guess uh, it was expired the competition. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. Okay. Um, have you tried to search about it or what did this mean? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. Thank you. You can see this, yeah? Yes. Okay, okay, this is some of my submissions. But uh, in order to, to be evaluated, you need to be you need to be selected, but this uh, submission was deserted. Um, I think it was submitted late. I don't know why, but in the leaderboard, I couldn't find my name. With the leaderboard. Okay, uh, so, since he told me about this one, uh, and his voice is not um, that much audible, I think I can explain this one. So, since the, the uh, submission or the project, the time for the submission of the project has already ended, they are not accepting any like uh, the, any new uh, submissions to be graded uh, like on the leaderboard. So you can submit and they will tell you uh, your score, your score in, in a sense of um, your uh, public score and private score, but they're not going to put you on the leaderboard because the like the challenge has already been uh, submitted and people have uh, been awarded and so on. So uh, they're not going to give you another chance to be on the leaderboard because it's already ended. 
that's what the ear receives. Uh, that's right, right, Junior? Uh, that's what he showed me. And I told him to just uh, submit the screenshots of his submissions, his per, per, uh, the public score and the private scores. And we can see how accurate uh, they are from this score. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are those years that we have not clue. Uh, I was trying to look on those types of projects that are in that uh, have time and things like that. Okay. I get it, Junior. Thank you very much for the clear presentation. Um, so I think we can end the session here since everyone has presented. If you have any question or suggestion on Junior's presentation, yeah, yeah, in Kevin. I think uh, yeah, you just written. Okay, so. yeah. Yeah. okay, thank you everyone for being here. Um, okay, yeah, then Emilia. Yeah, uh, have a great day, everyone. Emilia. Emilia. Emilian, can you hear us?